Hello and welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Anjali and today we are going to discuss how to enable the workforce module in an EPBCS application at job level granularity. So these are the steps which we are going to follow. I've already created an application to save our time and then I have configured and enabled it. So let's go to our application. This, are, this is our home page. From here, we click on applications and then configure. And then we click on enable features and select all the required features which we want. So by clicking at job or by setting it as job granularity, we mean we can calculate the workforce expenses at the job level only. Okay, we select everything, we enable all the features which are required and then click on enable. After enabling it, we need to sign out and sign in again from our application from here. Sign out and sign in. After we sign in, we need to import the metadata for all the members here like job, entity and components. How do we do that? We click here, launch, and by choosing file from here, we can import it. And then we need to validate it and import it. And then close the tab. Okay, after doing so, what we do is set our user variables. So we need to go to tools, variables, We set all the user variables here and then we click on save. After we have set user variables, we set user preferences. So first on display, we set thousand separator as comma and decimal separator as dot. And then we'll save it. Next, we'll go to user variables and select all the members from here, which we want, and then save. All right. So the next step is setting assumptions. So let's see, uh, we have created an application. Let's green mark the area, which we have already done. We have created an application, okay? We have configured it and signed in and signed out. We have imported the metadata. So when we import metadata, after doing so, we need to refresh our database. We have set user variables and user preferences. The next step is setting assumptions. Let's see how can we do that. We'll go to application, configuration again. Okay. From here, we click on planning and forecast preparation and select the required plan and required forecast and then click on save. Our current fiscal year is financial year 22. The next is benefits and taxes. So I have set the scenario as OEP actual, version as OEP working, and component as benefits. I have all the three options here. So for benefits, see what I have done. So I have given the benefit as RSSB medical contribution. Con uh, component type as simple. We can select any of these. I have set it as simple. Payment terms, monthly, fiscal year, value type as percentage of salary we can also give it as flat amount and percentage of overall earnings and maximum value type as percentage of salary again we can select it as flat amount or percentage of overall earnings threshold scope as monthly and taxable component uh, either yes or no i have selected it as yes then next 
So in the next step, I have set it as 2.5%. All right, for FY22. So we can see it is 2.5% of the basic salary, all the assumptions which I have given. And similarly for additional benefits, I've given it travel allowance. Here, all the things remaining same. What I've changed is the value type as flat amount, not percentage of salary. So we can see the difference here. It will come as 500 flat amount and not in percentage form. See, okay. Then I'm going to close this. And similarly, I have done it for taxes. Let's check this also. Federal tax, component type as simple, monthly payments in fiscal year, value type as percentage of taxable earnings. Okay, you can choose any of these and maximum value type also as percentage of taxable earnings and threshold scope as monthly. Then I'm going to save it and click on next. I've given it as percentage of my taxable compensation. So we can see it as, see 5% of taxable compensation, which it is going to calculate monthly. We're going to close the tab. Now we need to set assumptions for salary grades. My entity is Finance US. We have already set it in user preferences. So I have given grade one as weekly, no grade as hourly, 40 rate. And this is weekly rate. This is monthly and this is the annual salary grade. Then save and close. Then workforce assumptions. Okay, so for financial year 2022, I have given it as eight hours per day, 40 hours per week and 22 days per month, working days and then save and close. So these were all the assumptions and everything metadata I have loaded it. Okay, now let's calculate. So for that, we are going to go to the workforce compensation planning. I have given all my scenario version entity as finance US, currency as USD and year as FY22. So uh, what can we do is we right click over here. We add job. I've already added three. So I will add any of these. Okay, I've already added three. This is how we can add any job. And FTE, for we can give FTV, FTE here. Okay, so I've already given it. And regular headcount, contractor, temporary, any of these. If you don't want this, you can simply write it as zero. And then we are going to launch it. So I've already done. You can see here. So after I added my job, I need to calculate the job compensation. So this is how the compensation gets calculated. Okay. And also we need to synchronize default and synchronize component definition. So after we have followed all these steps, our compensation gets calculated. Let's green mark this area. We have set the assumptions, refreshed the database. Okay. So uh, what we need to do is we'll go to uh, defaults and we need to add salary grades here, right? 
salary grades, additional earnings, benefits, and similarly, taxes. And all this is required for adding a job. So before adding a job, we need to uh, set in defaults all these. So once it is all done, let me show you, I've already imported a data for this. So this is for accounting director, grade three and 4,20,000, let me show you. So these are the salary grades. I have set, set it, it as annual and 4,20,000. Okay. So here it is 4,20,000 grade three, and these are all my validations. As you can see in the smart view, the grade three employee, 35,000 is the monthly salary, which I have calculated here. Okay. Okay, 35,000, it gets validated. I've also given travel allowance, RSSB, medical allowance and federal tax. Okay, so let's click here, job details, accounting director. I'm going to check all the amounts for this. $35,000 per month salary, travel allowance. Uh, this application is calculating all the benefits twice. But okay, so this is an issue. Travel allowance as 500, RSSB monthly 875, and federal tax as 187.5. Let's see how it is calculated. So we get 35,000 monthly salary, but uh, travel allowance I have given flat amount 500, so 500 multiplied by 12 monthly, so it comes to 6,000. Similarly, for basic salary, 2.5% of basic salary gets calculated here, 4,20,000 multiplied by 2.5%, and 5% of the taxable compensation gets validated here. Okay. So all the expenses are getting uh, calculated twice. So I have also done the same just to see the validated amounts. So from here, we can see the headcount, three employees and compensation plan and all the details here. So that's all for today. Thank you and have a great day.